Salutations! Oh my goodness, my voice. Salutations, everybody! So, if you've been on YouTube lately, you know a little thing has been going around. A little thing called the YouTube survey. So, I was tagged by the very lovely Cheyenne. So, I suppose we'll get started. Why are you called that? So, I asked my mom uh, why I was named Kayla. And all she said was, it was the only one we liked. So that's why I named Kayla. And then Simpsons, my dad's last name, was also my mom's, well, it still is my mom's last name, even though my parents are divorced. And then my username, Kayla, etc. It's sort of a play on the trend that was happening for people to put their first name and then some other word after it, and that was their internet alias. But then it turned into something else because literally translated, my username is Kayla and the rest, or and the others. Personally, it kind of means I am specifically different from everyone else, therefore I stand out amongst the others. And then it also, in a YouTube context, turned into this is my channel, but you guys are also involved in it. So, Kayla and the rest. Sort of like a Marina and the Diamonds type deal. Tell us about your favorite school teacher. And this is so hard, I've had so many good ones, but the first one that pops in my head was my third grade teacher, Miss Wilcox. She was awesome. What I really liked about her was that she celebrated the fact that I was outstandingly different from everyone else, and she really praised that and encouraged me to keep doing that, and that was awesome. She really encouraged people to be their own person. And that, in third grade, is the best ever. What's the strangest food you've ever eaten? There was one time for my grandparents' 50th anniversary that we went to this really fancy restaurant, and they served us ostrich. I don't really have anything to add to that. I think that kind of speaks for itself. But it tasted like steak. Tell us about your first gig. Oh, man. Well, my parents had a band, so I can't really specifically remember the first actual performance that I went to because I had to have been a baby. But the first official non-family related concert that I went to was I saw Pink with my mom. But the first one that I specifically picked out I believe was either Avril Lavigne or the Good Guitar Lit concert. The Avril Lavigne concert was just a random secret show in a mall that some radio announced where it was at some certain time and then I got to go and that was really cool. And then the other time I was the biggest Good Charlotte fan ever. I begged my mom to take me to go see them and I did get to go and I dressed up and I spiked my hair and I wore crap on eyeliner and I went with my mom <laughs> which was great. And uh, it was really good. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I had a phase where I was super into Avril Lavigne and Good Charlotte, but it happened. It's a part of my life, so... Mm. What is your favorite place in the world? Completely uncontested, it would have to be the City Museum in St. Louis, Missouri. The City Museum is sort of like a giant playground that this guy made out of recycled materials. like. All the materials that he uses are from like factories around St. Louis um, that have excess materials or need to get rid of a lot of stuff or just garbage around whatever. There's a aquarium inside that he built. There's a little circus inside of the building. And even on the rooftop, uh, there's a ferris wheel on the rooftop of this building. A ferris wheel. It's so cool. And it's like one of those really old ones, so it's kind of scary, but it's it's really cool looking. And then what else is really cool on the roof is they have a little school bus that they have hanging off of the roof. And you can actually go into the school bus and like hang off of the building. Completely safe, but it, it's so cool. There's like a, a really, really, really long slide as well. It gets you from the top level of the building down to the lobby, so that's really cool too. So if you ever end up going to St. Louis or just are looking for fun places to go around the Midwest, that's a really cool place to go. And it's always changing, so you can go there multiple times and it won't be the same. Um, I've been there twice now. And who do I want to answer the survey next? 
I would really like to see hay sticks and rocket fists. <laughs> That's so silly. They're two of my favorite internet people. So Lloyd and Max, go. So that is all for this video. I hope you have a marvelous tactical day. Thank you so much for watching Toodles! So this is my setup. It's a Fever 21 box and my tripod. Because that's a really tiny tripod. And, uh, and this is in my closet too. So 